Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask Enki. Today we're taking a look at the free marketplace content from the folks at Epic Games for Unreal Engine. And today we do have five free contents that you can get and start working with. And these are impressive contents, they are super cool. And of course, we're also going to talk about more contents that you can get from somewhere else. And one of the nice things with this month's marketplace content is we're getting a bundle pack of six different environments from the folks at Snow Train. So we're simply going to dive directly into Unreal Engine, take a look at these and also come back and talk about the other stuff that is currently available for this month. So starting off in Unreal Engine, what we have here is the environment bundle map and they include the engine room, the flogger map, the hell cage, neon city, the Mato city and the house tree. So to start exploring, we're simply going to double click right in and take a look at demo one. So we are in here. Let's simply go around and see what we have. And I'm just simply going to tap G on the keyboard to get rid of that. And in here is the engine room. So the engine room seems to be looking very interesting. Let's actually go in and increase the exposure a little bit so we can see some things. Because at this point with the game setting, you cannot really see stuff. All right, so we're in here and uh, this is the engine room and this is one of those environments that you'll be getting. So if you've been thinking about something like this, probably you want to start building an engine room of this sort you'd now have something like that. So we can, of course, just simply travel through, go all the way up and we can see what we have going on here. So looking really, really nice. And here's the Fogler map. This looks really, really cool. You can see it is set out in a desert looking um, scene, looking very Egyptian, I must say. So we can go around and you can see it. So it's got this Arabian or, you know, feel. So we can so simply go around it. And we've got some stuff that are still pending. And yeah, so if you want something like this, this is the second map that we have here. And they look really nice. The Hellcave scene, just like the name implies, looks pretty interesting. And it, it's got this sort of hellish feel to it, which also looks more like a dungeon sort of thing and you can travel through it and see some very impressive stuff. Let's, let's just take out some of these overlays. So just simply tap G on the keyboard, you know, you can bring them in or take them out. So we're just simply going to take them out so we can travel through the scene. Yeah, so if, you, if you're thinking about building a dungeon, I'm, I would definitely suggest, you know, exploring with this. It's got a lot of potential and I, I do love this very, nice looking chandelier that also exists there so looking very cool let's also just simply travel through so if you're looking at building a dungeon probably a torturing chamber then this will definitely suffice i believe lives up to its name so if you're thinking about setting this in the middle of nowhere probably a torture chamber then you can definitely pick this one up and start creating the Neon City is a very interesting stylized city. This looks very cyberpunkish, and it's got that Tokyo vibe to it. Like every single thing here simply glows and it's just beautiful the way it's been built. So if you're looking for a scene where you can pick up assets like these, then definitely I would suggest that you pick this one up. And Tomato City is a grass demo. So if you are looking for multiple types of grasses that you can use for your scene, then Tomato City have you covered. All of these are super nice stuff. You can definitely find them individually and you can use them to stylize your scene. The treehouse has this very spooky feel to it. And this has some very interesting textures that makes it look like the scene is built during the snow period. And you've got this lovely god ray coming in. And for those who are into lighting, this scene looks pretty interesting. And how it has been built is just what playing with. This alongside the hell cage do go hand in hand. And I can envision a scene where the hell cage is built inside of this. So let's say once we travel in, then we start discovering the hell cage. And this just simply looks like the exterior of the overall scene. So if you're into any of this environment, or probably you like to explore them, then these are currently available as they will be lasting till the end of May from the folks at Epic Games. And with this said, let's jump in and talk about the other stuff that are currently available for this month. So just in case you like to pick them up, you can know what you're getting for yourself. Run it up. 
The very first one that we have here is the modular sci-fi indoor and outdoor environment pack. And this is a beautiful asset pack that allows you to create extraterrestrial scenes as it provides you with every single thing that you need to create boring planetary landscapes and modi sci-fi interiors with indoor and outdoor architecture to allow you fine-tune and harness your scenes however you want. You can also create engaging landscape with some beautiful elements that includes rock, cliffs, grasses and swampy waters. All of these assets are fully modular and super customizable so you can simply jump in and start creating and tweaking the shaders, the elements and playing with as many decals that are currently available to get that scene that you're trying to create. The Tokyo Stylized Environment is also another impressive one that is now available. This is a fully modular scene that comes with vegetation, interesting materials and some beautiful assets that you can use to build that stylized Tokyo environment that you've always wanted. This currently comes with a good number of meshes that you can work with and simply allows you to create threads, play with leaves and also throw in road decals here and there. The materials are super customizable and simple to work with and in terms of the overall scene, this is fully lumen optimized and you'd also be able to have access to control in and working with this however you choose and for collision all of these are automatically generated so if you've been thinking about creating that stylized looking tokyo scene and you're looking for something that is pretty colorful and that can get you up to speed then this is one for you and if you've always wanted to create a flocking system, the advanced flocking system from the Fox Art Craft Asset Studio is now here. And this is a beautiful one, which you can totally get for free at this point. It simply allows you to create that interesting sequence. You can also use this to create flocking of various types, both for underwater aquariums and also for beds. With version 1.3 fully optimized, this currently ships with a good number of instances that you might want to consider playing with if you're into flocking. It is also worth mentioning that this comes included with a project and has a build support for 64-bit platform. Platforms. And of course, if you'd like to see the documentation and learn more about it, there is a link to Google Doc and Discord. And if working with physics is something that you enjoy doing and you're looking for a fast and easy way to replicate physics in your project, then look no further as the replicated grab system automatically integrates into any object in your scene, enabling you to interact with all physical objects in your scene and you can customize the systems to get the most out of them. With version 4, coming up with some interesting features that allow single multi-support, there are rotations that have been embedded to this and you can also use this in terms of distancing. As you can reset the rotation, you can also zoom to an item back and forth and you can easily change the material. This currently comes with 8 blueprints and is currently supported across Windows and Mac. And for those who are thinking about targeted platforms that this can also work with, this works for both Windows, Mac, Linux, Android OS and iOS. And finally, just like we've seen in the beginning of this video, the environment bundle, which comes with six different maps, is now here. So if you're looking for scenes that you can work with, probably you like to create a tomato environment. This themed environment comes with a couple of scenes, which includes the Neon City, which is a cyberpunky-like environment. And there's also the Fogla Desert map, which is also available. The Tomato City environment is here, which is considered the Wonderland, the Treehouse Horror environment, there's a sci-fi environment engine room, and also a Hell Cage environment. And so these are currently what you can get on the marketplace right now like epic games always release these things every single month and i'll definitely suggest that if any of this interests you then you can consider taking a look at them meanwhile humble bundle is also doing something pretty impressive so if you want to get more assets, more maps, and probably you want to get more bundles, then Humble Bundle has a good number of stuff that you can check out. We already covered this in a couple of videos before. You can simply go in and take a look at the Unreal and Unity Asset Giga Bundle, which gives you a huge set of mega packs, environment, tools that you can work with on real engine, interiors, and also some VFX and sound effects stuff. All of this currently costs about 3,301 euro, but you'll be getting them for 33 euro. So in case you like to get any of these ones, alongside this 50% coupon code is also there. It's also worth mentioning that that is not the only thing you get from the folks at Humble Bundle. There's also the Unreal Engine Spring Essential Utility Bundle. This also comes with a huge, huge set of things. So just in case you like to get these, then you can also go over to the link in the description and check them out. So this is it. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.